Okay, we can do a similar thing, similar exercise for the pedal position. Uh, we can see that these signals are changing here. So, uh, of course, I'm not pressing the pedal right now. Uh, so they could not be accelerator pedal. Now let's see what happens when I press the pedal. I'm pressing, releasing. So these two signals change, but this changes. This keeps on changing even even when the throttle is fully pressed. So this may not be accelerator pedal. But this guy here, um, ID1A1, follows how I'm pressing the pedal. So uh, it goes from 0 to FF, back to 0, uh, which could be a potential candidate for the pedal. Let's see if any other things change. Uh, okay, so this particular byte looks like changing when I press the pedal, goes to FE, and release, it goes to 0. Uh, other things are are random. So this looks to be a better candidate because it's on IDC9 and if you remember the brake was also a potential signal on this ID. So when I press this brake uh, it goes from 40 to 41 back to 40 when I when I release it. The pedal position might be here uh, as compared to on 1A1 because uh, the brake is also here. So an auto auto OEM, a car manufacturer, might keep its pedal position and brake together in one signal. So IDC9 looks to be a better candidate for uh, the pedal position uh, than ID1A1. Uh, and it goes from 00, 0 to FE back to 00, 0 and brake goes from 40 to 41 back to 40. Okay, so what we saw was um, the pedal position goes from 0 to FF, which means in decimal it's 0 to 255, and that's when you are not on pedal versus when you are fully throttling. So I can, I can assume that 0 uh, represents uh, not on pedal, and 255 represents a full throttle, that is 100% pedal position. So now to convert this 255 uh, or, or this uh, raw value into a final pedal position in percent, you can use the formula raw times a scale plus an offset equals final. Now let's assume that this offset is zero because uh, usually the pedal position is linear. So you get 255 times a scale equals 100 or scale equals 100 over 255. Now this scale you can enter in your DBC and then you can easily convert any particular pedal position into its raw value or vice versa. So if you get a value of say 102 then your final pedal position will be 102 times the scale which is equal to 102 times 100 over 255 percent that's it that's how you convert raw data into um, final value which is which could be represented in English